What's up guys welcome back to the channel and uh let's just get right into it i just want to say this wheel is it's really amazing now it's the same speed pretty much a little bit more um top speed than the 84 volt but it's pretty much close i love this wheel um i wish it was i wish it was able to do 45 miles an hour but it wasn't but that's okay um, it does do a little bit, like I said, top speed than the 84 volt, but I wouldn't recommend it. I think the most important thing about this wheel, like in every other review, is the torque. There were certain little hills I was able to climb with no problem, and I weigh 180 pounds, and I mean, this thing just eats it up. There were some hills that were pretty steep toward the end, um, but overall, this wheel is, is it's very torquey. The speakers are awesome. The light is the best. I took it for a ride in the night and it was beautiful. Check the link in the top. And I mean, besides the bulkiness, which can add a little bit more uh, learning curve to your learning, if this is your first wheel, it's fine. And one thing I love about this wheel is the, the left pedal. I, I like this feature right here, this feature where the pedal gets stuck and it's really hard to, you know, pretty much put up. What I usually do is this. You know, I hit it down and then I do this, okay? And then I lean it. That's pretty much how I get that effect. Like that. So that's a cool feature. So the left pedal, if you kick it down hard enough, it, it's stuck, you know, it, it, it feels like it's stuck. So basically you can lean it on one side, which is pretty cool to be honest. Instead of laying it flat on the floor and scratching up the wheel, you know what I mean? I think that's a really cool feature that Galway decided to add in there. I don't know how they came up with that, but that's awesome. Like, I'm not sure if people requested it, but I think that's a great addition. Now, if you look at the um, channel, I think it's the wrong way or wrong way. Um, if you look at his channel, you can see how powerful this wheel is. I weigh 180. I don't really climb a lot of hills. So you can check his channel out. You can also check out Coogee Roll's channel for how crazy this thing is off-road. I don't really go off-road, but there are times where I may have to. But I like this torque factor. This torque is just unbelievable. Um, the only time I really felt a struggle in the motor is when I got to the peak of that steep hill and I could feel the motor buck, you know what I mean? That's fine. The 84 volt wouldn't even get me a third um, up that hill, so. This thing is amazing. The side um, cushions, I, like I said, I don't really use these things. Um, maybe if I did more off-roading, I would use these side pads that you see a lot of guys using, but I don't have any need for it. Maybe in the future, I'll add that to my list. But overall, guys, I give this a good, strong vote of confidence in terms of like just its overall performance. And if you were to compare this with the 84 volt, just think about it like this. It's everything the 84 volt needed. But as far as speed, it's pretty much the same. Speed is the same. Acceleration is top notch, okay? You rarely feel how big the tire is. As far as ride experience, it's just a smoother experience. Now, about the batteries. The new MS Pro is equipped with the new 21700 cells from LG versus the 18650s from Panasonic. The 21700s, 18650s and others simply refer to the physical size of the lithium ion battery. For the 18650, it's an 18 millimeter diameter by 65 millimeter length and the 21700 is a 21 millimeter by a 70 millimeter length. The difference is massive supposedly. The 18650 is about 16,532 cubic millimeters versus the 21700, which is 24,233. The benefit of the 21700 versus the 18650 is that the extra density means there's more available energy in them to run your electronics. Basically, this should mean anywhere from 50 to 100% more runtime gain over the standard 18650 packs. So that's what I understand about the batteries. Basically, it's more volume, which uh, pretty much allows you to run the wheel a lot longer. But here's the thing. I noticed that this thing drains a little bit faster than my 84, 80, than my 84 volt. 
And my assumption is that the 84 volt obviously requires less power, right? Less voltage, less power output, right? So obviously you're gonna have a little bit more range. This right here, it says it's 1800 watt hours or so. I would like to know exactly how much it is because the 84 volt says 1600, but it's actually 1554. I'd like to know what this is. Is it a true 1800 watt hour battery? If you ride at an average pace of 30 miles an hour, 35 miles an hour, maybe. I would say keep it under 30 if you want longer range. But if, you're, if you know your distance, if you know where you're going and it's not too far, I have yet to do a range test on this to see how far it can go at a high rate of speed. But usually you would imagine less than 30 miles if you're gonna push 36, 37 miles an hour. You know what I mean? Forget 40 miles an hour. You're not gonna go that far. But for little bursts of speed in, in your city, for example, you could do that all day, I think, in good temperature. Right now, is it close to 50 degrees? So Fahrenheit. So you can expect to get, I don't know, maybe 24 miles um, on and off doing 40, 39 miles an hour. But yeah, this is a fantastic wheel. Uh, I can't say much more about it. The 84 volt is an amazing wheel. It's a great wheel. But this comes with additional features, such as the switch, um, the speakers, similar to the um, uh, Tesla, actually. They did, they did to the MSX what they did to the Tesla. So the Tesla didn't have certain features, and cert, uh, eventually those features became available on the Tesla version too. It's the same with this. The 84 volt was lacking in some areas, especially the, the torque, and they really accomplished it with this wheel. In addition, they added the features that we were all asking for, right? So the lift switch, the speaker, and the torque. And um, like I said, that little addition that they added, the pedal, just top notch, man, I love that. Now this little park I come to every now and then if I wanna test, test out a new wheel, and it just ate this place up. The road here is pretty slippery because of the, the um, rain. It rained all week, so, but it had really good traction. I didn't fall. So guys, more reviews coming up. This wheel is amazing and I purchased it. So it's a demo wheel, but I, I contacted Jason and I said, hey, can I have it? And yeah, he said, sure. So it's mine and I feel good because I crashed it so it's mine so I'm probably the first one to have the MS Pro <laughs> that's pretty exciting so um, maybe not maybe not I don't know because I looked on e-wheels and it says deposit of 500 my assumption is not it's not available yet but this thing is ridiculously amazing and uh, I found so the other day you guys saw the video where I tried to um, uh, pretty much adjust the calibration I tried calibrating it calibrating it uh, similar to my 84 volt but I actually needed to calibrate it a little bit higher, so maybe two to three degrees more than my 84 volt. I'm not sure why, but it feels great now. It feels perfect now. So for those of you wondering, should you get the 84 volt or something else, such as this, I would recommend getting this for the torque and the features. You can't dismiss the features. Um, but in terms of range and being able to enjoy top end speed over a long distance minus the torque the 84 volt is the answer for you still um, this is going to make you happy okay if you're an off-roader if you're someone who is very light and you like to climb hills or you're very heavy and you'd like to ride at a high rate of speed this is a good wheel for you the only problem like I said is if you decide to do the top end or acceleration constantly um, this is probably gonna disappoint you. The 84 volt is the answer. So, guys, with any new wheel you get, do at least 200 miles of testing, 200 miles of just riding normally. Um, don't push it too much, so you can really get the feel of it. If you've had an 84, 80, 84 MSX, you're gonna need to have a little bit more riding with this because it's heavier and bulkier. So, thank you guys. See you next time. Babe, that is nothing. Can I go down there, please? Okay, you can go, okay. <laughs> it's nothing, I'm telling you. Seriously. Get out the way! <laughs> yeah, I am with the you made. Babe, I made a good promise. And I, I've done this before. I've done this before. Like, seriously, for real, for real. <laughs> I've done this before.
It's nothing. That's a simple hill. Babe, when you were running, when you were running, I was doing all kinds of hills. I just didn't tell you. And it was nothing. This is dirt. If I fall, the dirt accepts me. You know what I'm saying? Boop, I will never cause myself to fall. I just won't do it. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. I got this. I gotta, I gotta go fast. That's, that's